Viewers are falling in love with the real love boat. The new reality TV series is inspired by the classic TV show, but now the real love boat is a dating adventure. Today I'm joined by the cruise guy, Stuart Sheeran, who's aboard a princess cruise ship right now, sailing with members of the original iconic cast of the beloved show, The Love Boat. We also have Ted Lang, who played Isaac Washington, the bartender on the show, joining us who now has a couple Speaking of drinks of which, in hand. <laughs> here we've got a couple of Isaacs. Hey, cheers, gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us right here on The Four. Thank you. Happy to be here. Uh, glad you're here, Ted. I'm going to start with you on this. So many people loved the show, The Love Boat. Uh, what is it like to be back on a ship, of course, with Stuart there, but then with some of the members of the original cast? Well, it's been a lot of fun. You know, sometimes you forget what influence the show had on yeah. people. And we've got all these people on this particular ship, the Discovery Princess, and they booked the trip just to meet us, the cast. So we got all five remaining members of the Love Boat cast here on this particular ship. And we've been signing autographs, taking pictures and enjoying the fans. What a delight. What is it like when you get to see the new version of the show? Very different than what you had on, but this is a reality version. This is a dating version of The Love Boat. What was your first uh, thought when you saw this show, the new one? Well, it's a sign of the times. It's where uh, television is going right now. And it's kind of, to me, it's kind of like the flavor of the week. You know, uh, <laughs> how do we figure out another way to make something a reality show? And that's what uh, The Real Love Boat is, a reality show. You got the amazing race that's been going on. You got all these different shows and someone clicked onto the idea of uh, having a dating show using the ship, The Love Boat. And that's what they're doing. And it's working so far, looks fun. Stuart, I wanna yeah. bring you in on the conversation as well. You're known as the cruise guy. You've been on 21 cruises since June. This is your 300th cruise in your career of doing this. Uh, give me your perspective on this particular ship, which I understand is coming to San Diego next month. It is, and it's, it's actually, it's exciting. And what Ted didn't uh, let, let, let you know that there was over 1500 people in line this morning Aww. waiting to meet the crew. And so when people think the love boat doesn't make a difference, even today, decades later, they have a profound impact on cruising. And people book cruises because of the love boat, whether, you know, it's it's old timers, new timers, there's new generations of there's people. New generations, huh? That, that are experiencing yeah. cruising and uh, they breathe new life into, you know, new people to see these ships as these ships continue to, to develop. And uh, I mean, there's bartenders. That yeah. have been inspired. He is the most famous yeah. bartender on the planet. Oh, funny. Yeah, it's true. Oh, uh, I... And it's a lovely uh, mantle to have to carry. But in real life, you Ted, what, happiness. what is your favorite drink to make behind the bar? Because I know people come up to you and they try ordering something, but what do you like to make for people? Well, you know, the Love Boat has the Isaac cocktail, which I'm going to be making a little later on today and teaching the crew and people that are fans of the show how to make this drink. So that if you ever take a Princess Cruise and you want uh, a cocktail, you just ask for the Isaac. Just ask for the and Isaac. You won't yeah, be yeah, disappointed. <laughs> Stuart, for friends that want to find out a little bit more about you because you give reviews of the different cruises that you've been on and you keep folks up to date on safety procedures and what's happening now, where can they find out some more information, Stuart? Well, by, obviously by watching CBS 8 in San Diego, but uh, mm. also at cruiseguy.com. Cruiseguy.com. Hey, Ted Lang, it was nice to meet you here, at least uh, through the camera. And Stuart, thanks for being back on our show. Have fun on your hey, cruise. By, by the way, he's a new Oceanside uh, resident. Well, welcome to San Diego. And now that I know you're so close, I want you in here in studio pretty soon. Well, listen, I do. I write plays. I've written 26 plays, and I'm going to be doing some play readings in San Diego. Uh, since this is my new address, to get connected to the theatrical community there. Well, we would love to have you as a guest live right here on our show once again. Guys, thanks. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Keep up the great work. If you do want to watch the new Love Boat, again, it's called The Real Love Boats on Wednesday nights, 9 p.m. right here on CBS 8, or catch up on all of the episodes they stream every day on Paramount+. Carrie?